on the 7th December 2018, 10 British nationals arrived in the country on a charitable mission in collaboration with a British NGO based in Ghana. And they went to Kokrobite. After all the arrival formalities, they got to Kokrobite around 1.25 a.m. That is on the 8th of December 2018. There were 10 people five females and five males, including school girls. However, when they arrived at the residence, they were attacked by three member gang armed robbers. The robbers ordered them to lie down with their faces down and subsequently robbed them of 11 mobile phones, credit and debit cards, mini iPad, wedding rings, cash of 180 pounds, 940,000 Ghana cities. And then these robbers collected their ATM identification numbers and six of the ladies were raped. And five, those who came were five and one who was already resident at the residency was also raped. At gun, all of them were raped at gunpoint. The robbers bolted with their booty after this crime and left these people to their fate. The case was initially reported at Kokrobite police station. The CID headquarters, considering the gravity of the offense, immediately took over the investigation. After painful investigation, we were able to get the picture of one of the suspects who was declared wanted after we've obtained warrant of arrest. After three months of intelligent gathering, surveillance and in-depth investigation, two of the prime suspects were arrested on the 9th of March 2019. They are Ishmael Achene, also known as Nana Israel Damascus, a Ghanaian driver, age 34, and Daniel Akpan, a Nigerian driver, also age 34 were arrested at Aquilinia Kaswa and Kwashiman, respectively. The third identified suspect as Asukuo Umotidem Edem, also known as Faith, a Nigerian. These suspects admitted the offenses and also recounted other numerous robbery and rape cases they have committed before and after the Kokrobite incident. At this point, it is worthy to mention few of side cases involving the same robbery guns. On the 9th of June 2018, about 2 a.m., the three-member robbery gun unlawfully entered into the premises of a businessman at East Legon. The robbers at gunpoint ordered the complainant to open his metal safe containing jewelry worth about $40,000 and cash the sum of $10,000. On the 15th of June 2018, at 2.15 a.m., these same robbers embarked on another robbery at East Ligon. The suspects killed over the wall of a complainant and removed the burglar proof of one of the windows and entered the house. The suspects, who were armed with pistol, a designed metal bar, and an industrial cutter, robbed the complainants and two of the girls of unspecified amount of money worth over 30,000 US dollars and cash over 6,000 dollars. They say this also was done by the same robbers that we have in our custody. Again, on the, 9th, on the 10th of September 2018, between 12 a.m. and 3.30 a.m., these robbers went to the residence of a complainant and attacked her together with her two daughters, robbed them of jewels worth 110,000 dollars, four iPhones, three Samsung smart iPhones, laptops, and unspecified amount of local currencies. The robbers were not satisfied. They raped the complainant and two daughters at that time. Again, on 21st February 2019, about 12.30 a.m., these robbers entered a house at Westland and succeeded in robbing the owner together with his wife of their money, pistol, and other personal effects. They went ahead, raped a young lady in the house. This act they performed in tents. On Friday, 16th March, we conducted identification parade 
and 12 out of the 16 available witnesses identified the three suspects as those who rob, robbed and raped them. Strenuous efforts are underway to arrest the other two suspects who are currently on the run.